Hi, it's Jack from Alpha Charts with a state of the market video. Today is, what is today? Today is January 22nd, 2022. Before we get started, this video is for informational purposes only. These are not recommendations to buy, sell, or hold any stock or security. I may hold positions in some of the equities mentioned. Know your time frame and risk tolerance. All right, so let's talk, start with the SPX as we always do. And again, we have this kind of trend line that we were watching and we have this particular week definitively broke down from that trend line, broke down from this <clears throat> horizontal support and the waterfall decline looks like it is starting. So where can it go to? Next level is probably somewhere around here, right? So that is on the SPX three and a half percent or so um that's a decent move down because again that's an index um you know that's that's a, again that's a decent move it's already from top to bottom down you know 8.6 so that brings us you know to what 12 ish or so um yeah so again does not look like spx is going to be spared um volume is picking up doesn't mean it goes straight down, even though it could. You know, you're probably going to see some sort sort of two day or so, maybe three day counter trend rally. And then we get some moving averages on here, nine and twenty three. You know, let's put fifty and two hundred also. All right, so you see, sliced right through the two hundred. Maybe we get a little, little counter trend rally, getting extended from all the um, shorter and intermediate moving averages. So. I could see how a, a rally here could could be possible, maybe into the support area, right? Like, um, yeah, maybe into this forty five thirty three area. Boom, boom, moving averages catch up and then rolls back over and tries to tag this, maybe. Um, but again, definitely a risk off environment. And let's look at the equal weight SPX. All right, let's just make this a little bit bigger now because it's becoming back into play again, right? So this was, you know, this 152 area was really, really important and price looks like it's trying to tag it. Um, you know, we'll see. Does it, again, very extended from the moving average at this point. They're all stuck up here around 159-ish and, um, and we're down here 153, top to bottom, 7.2%. Again, is this a double top? Well, maybe if this breaks right here, then you may have a double top forming in um, in the equal weight. It's pretty nasty. That's pretty nasty. 150-ish, um, I think 151-ish. This area will have to break for that to confirm. And again, I would expect some sort of counter trend rally just because it's so extended and it's moved so quickly a day or two. Be careful not to get sucked into that particular event if it happens. Um, but yeah, but I would definitely be aware of, let's see if I could even put this in here. Maybe a double top is forming here. You get the idea. Um, yeah, but again, the neckline has to break for that to be, to, for that to be legitimate um, and then you know, it's gonna be a problem, but we're not quite there yet. So definitely be careful with this, especially if you get a one or two strong day rally, maybe up into the moving averages, retakes the 200 day, everyone's feeling a little bit better about things. Uh, I would still be suspect of the index. Views. Okay, so it's tagging support as we speak, sliced right through the 200 day, doesn't seem like there's any support anywhere. Obviously, it's come straight down from here to here. It's roughly oh, a 13% decline on the index, which means individual stocks are getting just hammered. Again, very extended from the moving averages. So, you know, maybe something like this happens. Boom. I'll just reuse this one. And then boom right um next level support which has been really important isn't that far below from where it is now so it could just keep going down 
you know, I, I don't know the answer to that question, but it's only about 3% or so lower. So any further weakness, and again, this would be the next area on the queues to watch for it to hold. You know, that's a that's a decent move, right? You know, we've already come a long way. Again, just be careful. It could it could come down to here. I expect at some level there'll be some sort of bounce like this, so a little three day, two day, two day bounce. Let the moving averages catch up again before we continue lower. And that's gonna be the case because we're in a downtrend, right? Um, when that changes, then I won't say continue lower, but that it's gotta be guilty until proven innocent, to quote Brian Shannon. So on the equal weight cues, I'm gonna take out this question mark because it's no longer a question. This was a head and shoulders top. It did confirm it is moving lower. Top to bottom, so far we are at 15.7 on the equal weight. That's broad-based carnage going on. It was roughly um, uh, 8.7, we'll call it nine, nine points. So from here, yeah. So the, e, the, the move, um, I'm sorry, the measured move, you know, puts it in this range. So this area, you know, I could probably, you know, make this a little bit bigger or whatever. This area, the shaded green area, is a potential target to see if it offers any type of support. Um, you know, again, extended, way extended from all moving averages, you know, a flattening 200 day, and that's true in almost all the indexes, uh, prices below flattening 200 day, um, you're getting this, you know, potential, you know, whatever they call it, death cross, whatever, you know, you got it, um, not quite in the, in the, in the queues, let's see if SPX had it, you know, so there's, but I think IWM does have it. Yeah, that's already crossed. That's already broken down. So we'll just switch right there to IWM. And I mean, there is not much going on as far as volume from back here to give this any type of support, in my opinion, until it gets to about here. You know, and on the small caps, that's another 12, 13%. That's, that's a long ways. Now, this is the area that, has been resistance so should turn to support that's the expectation it's 171 ish area it's a long ways down what, what, was another what 15 percent we said you know 14 percent or so that's a long ways so just be careful in these small caps again it is leading the way lower um just absolute carnage i'm hoping that most of y'all are in cash once you saw it break down um as well, you know, even beforehand, um, you know, things were looking kind of dicey. Just looking at the mid caps real fast, you know, they're starting to break down themselves. You know, we'll call it holding up better than the small caps, but still, I mean, extended. This is an area, again, where you may see a, a bounce, maybe some support. You know, I could probably make this area a little bit bigger just to incumbents some of this stuff right there. It's in, it's in this area of, of potential support. Again, a bounce into the moving averages, but a break of, you know, 470-ish. And this looks really, really nasty. So that's your mid caps. All right, uh, small cap growth, we'll jump there real fast. Again, leading it lower. I put some fibs on here for, you know, where can this carnage potentially end? And these were from a line chart. So you can see that's where I put my fibs. And so 238, that's an area um, just based on Fibonacci's. Um, but then really the chart says, you know, this 225, 226 area. So um, yeah, that's an area of potential support. But again, it's extended. Do I expect this to go straight down? I don't. It could, right? It's gone straight down since. But I expect this some sort of, one or two day counter trend rally. Um, and then, you know, look how oversold IWM is, right? Um, I have a coffee cup here, so I gotta move it. Yeah, it's at 21.57. So all rallies should be suspect. Um, getting oversold like this is, is never good. All right, um, let's keep moving. XLF financials were one of the ones that were holding up and we say, okay, they were leading. Well, that's, 
Yeah, they're joining the party, right? Big down day. And, and the key was, and this is really important, J.P. Morgan and Goldman Sachs, and put J.P. Morgan here, boom. They had earnings, and then they gapped down. That was the tell, right? I believe Goldman did, was it Goldman too? Yeah, Goldman did too. Um, yeah, this was a Bank of America. Not quite as bad. I don't, I'm not sure if they had earnings. I think Wells Fargo did. Um, again, not quite as bad. But I think J.P. Morgan and Goldman were the tell, especially J.P. because they were the first one. And you saw this. And that's what started this. So um, that was important information. It's right at the 200-day now. You know, it may bounce again. Um, but with below all these other moving averages, it's kind of trapped here. And I think the path of least resistance right now is going to be lower. Um, XLF, not looking good. SMH, most important subsector out there. The broadening pattern we talked about last week. I said I, I didn't like the way this looked. Um, and yeah, it rolled right back. It rolled right over. I mean, slicing through. And that's the thing too. It's slicing through all potential support, slicing through moving averages, still above the 200 day here, um, which is starting to flatten. But yeah, but SMH rolling over, not a good sign. Um, lumber, straight down, slicing through everything. Uh, back in this range, we'll call it at best, but going straight down, we'll see if, you know, it's 84, 85. You know, it's as an indicator, you know, it's, it's not leading right now. So it's not really giving us much of a signal, but not looking good in general. Fix. Starting to get elevated here. It took a while. It wasn't budging. It wasn't budging. wasn't budging. And now it's um, now it's budging. I'm gonna take off some of these moving averages because we don't care about them at this point. Uh, 200 day. There you are. Yeah. So the VIX starting to get elevated. Nothing crazy, but it's elevated. So be careful with that. Put call ratio. So as a contrarian, we're starting to get to the point of everyone on one side of the boat. Um, I think this has more to go, but this is in the range where you say, okay, it's, it's you know, we could rally, you know, it could cause that one to two day rally because, you know, people are starting to get there. Then they kind of put some relief and then the real zinger happens. And you've seen it like in here, right? You got into that range and then kind of, you know, chopped around, you know, making traders kind of crazy before it finally really did flush. Um, so we could be in this type of situation here. You know, back in, in 2019, it didn't quite happen in that fashion, but it, it's done that in the past, right? We see that in the past where when it gets that into this area, you have the snapback rallies where it, it, it traps alongs um, before the final flush really happens. So just be aware of that. But we are getting to the point where an oversold rally can happen. You know, let this, you know, sentiment indicator chop around before the a final flush. And I think that is the more common um, occurrence to happen is that we don't go straight here. I think this is less common. I think this is the more common look. So that's what I'm looking for now. This is kind of chopping back and forth, but it's still a bearish, nasty looking market eventually you get the flush and um and that's that's the signal so that's what we're looking for on the sentiment indicator right as a contrarian not quite there yet but we're getting there that's good news um looking at let's do value line geometric next here's value line geometric breaking down broad based um selling going on that's to be expected where you should expect this right i mean they're selling everything almost nothing is safe new highs list i ran it the other day there was seven items i think six items on it so that's nothing that's uh but this is the value line geometric breaking down as expected um then above the 50 day 22 only 22 percent of stocks are above the 50 day moving average um that's getting there Again, we may see some choppiness here, but I'm looking for a flush below 10. Like this would be the signal, right? Um, I'm looking for extremes. And again, this is bad. 
but not extreme. And so that's what I'm looking for. Again, we may get chopped, we may get bounced. This is an area where it's bounced in the past, as you can see here, and this area here, and here, here. Now we're back to it here. So that's percent of stocks above the 50 day. Looking at bonds, um, you know, we're starting to get a move higher in bonds. Again, if you want to say, what's the silver lining in all of this? Well, the market isn't completely freaking out, the bond market. So that, in my opinion, this is just a regular correction, not the end of the world. So that's, I think, the important, um, maybe, maybe the best takeaway from the video <laughs> is the bond market is not saying that this is the end of the world. This is just maybe repricing of things and, and figuring things out but not a systemic issue. So we have that going for us. Um, and let's just look at the TNX, not TMX, TNX. There we go. All right, so the 10-year, um, I think that a lot of things is, is going to be predicated on this. We had a little pullback in there, a little support. So I think that, um, you know, Further pullback could lead to a little bit of the rally, but eventually um, I think that we are going to be hitting this 2%, and that is maybe the flush that we need. Um, you know, something like this. Yeah, something like this. And we're in that range. So even just sideways, sideways movement in the 10-year would be fine. But I think that one more spike in the 10-year would give us the final flush. Um, we'll see if that happens. No idea. Um, but, but that would be, that would make sense to me, right? That'd be a normal market action. Again, 10 years gone a long way. Again, just some choppiness, then the final flush. All right, let's recap everything real fast. You know, so use SPX, you know, equal weights, RSP, everything is saying we are in a, a bear market. The downtrend is real. There are no stocks um, to, to speak of, you know, that are really setting up. It's going to make my stocks to watch video tomorrow very challenging. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so things are, are really nasty. Be careful for those counter trend rallies like this. Okay. Be careful. Don't get sucked in. It's going to be very short lived, maybe into moving averages, maybe into maybe into potential overhead supply. And then my expectation would be the rollover. And then, then we'll see what happens when it gets down here. Every stock, every market should be suspect. Oh, let's look at Bitcoin. I didn't look at Bitcoin, hold on. So let's look at Bitcoin here. Um, you know, I think Bitcoin kind of led this lower. So I'm hoping Bitcoin just completely flushes this weekend gets to this 30,000 level, and then we can maybe put in some sort of bottom here. That's my hope. Um, and, and the way I view Bitcoin is that it's the riskiest of the risk appetite type of um, uh, product. So, you know, it, it led lower. And hopefully, if it starts to recover, it may lead higher. It may recover first uh, since it broke down first. I don't know the answer to that. But again, I am watching it for a flush this 30,000 level um, and then to see what happens. If it can hold, awesome, right? And if it starts to rebound or create a base or whatever it does, um, that's great. Um, but again, it's extended, so it may not do it this weekend. <laughs> we'll see if it, if it rallies back up. And again, if it rallies into the, into the Monday Open, that could show that there's a risk appetite for risk on in the short term. And that may lead to the two to three day, you know, rally that I've, I've kind of talked about before. Eventually, I think it hits, you know, this 30,000 area or so. Anyway, so there we go. So again, all markets should be suspect. All, all stocks should be suspect. Know your time frame. know your risk tolerance. You know, cash is king at this point. Save your dry powder. There will be good times this year ahead of us. You know, the market is not going to zero. It is not going to zero. So let's wait for a good market and then we could get involved. 
then. Okay. Good luck this week. Hope you all are staying safe out there. Hope you're preserving your equity um, and your capital. Um, and uh, take care. Also, if you haven't done already, please like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at AlphaCharts365. Take care. Bye.